husband and children that was COVID. Ma'am, you'll have to stand over in that line to talk to somebody about some patients. I need to see my children now. My husband was brought here in an ambulance. And we're wait, wait. a call saying that they were here. Okay, wait. Three kids, two girls, yes. one boy? Sure, come on, follow me. Still in trauma. I'll go see if someone is available to come and speak with him. Okay, thank you. Mr. O'Donnell, the patient in trauma room one, his wife just arrived and she'd like to speak with someone. Okay, where? She's in the waiting room. Thanks. <laughs> Can you tell me any information regarding my husband, please? It seems your husband has uh, experienced some sort of heart failure. I need to ask you a few questions regarding his health and medical history. Has he been feeling any stomach pain lately? Numbness? Tightness in his chest? No. What about medication? Has he been on any no. prescription no, medication? No, no, no. I give him something for his indigestion. Is there a history of heart failure in his family that you know of? His, his father, he died at 47 uh, from heart problems. Mrs. Coleman, I know this must be hard for you. I just don't understand. He answered those questions a week ago. So he did see a physician regarding We were father. here. We were here. He saw a doctor here. We sat in a small room for more than three hours. The nurse took his blood pressure, hooked him up to some machine, and then she sent him home. I'm going to do my best to keep you well informed. Right now, I need you to go back into the waiting room. I'll return with some additional information. Thank you. Tracy, you have one millisecond to get out that bathroom and get down here. <sighs> OK. You are going to drop the kids off today. DJ and Tracy have practice after school, so I'm going to drop Chris off at your mom's, and then I'm going to pick up DJ on the way to get Tracy some cheerleading, and your mom's going to drop Chris back off here so that she can get rest in between jobs, Michelle, okay? when are you going to rest? When I'm okay. No. No, come here. Just close your eyes for a minute. Stop. Just close your eyes for a minute. Good. Now relax. No kids, no responsibilities. Let's just breathe. Don't mess it up. Kids are gonna mess it up soon enough. The time's up. DJ, here's your lunch. Oh, oh, so nice of you to join us, daughter. You all say goodbye to your mother. Okay, bye, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Now, Michelle, okay. listen, I love you. And I'm picking the kids up later. No, Doug, you have to rest. I'm going to eat. I, too, can rest when I'm dead. <laughs> oh, See you later. Bye, honey. Okay. Dolores, I am so glad that you were here. Everything's going to be okay. God has it in his hands. No matter what the outcome is, this is God's will. I didn't even tell him I love him this morning. I'm fussing about him getting rest. Oh, dear. Don't blame yourself. Doug knows how you feel. He knows how you feel about him, so don't. This is right. I am scared. Doug is all that I have. You know, the way he holds things together, like. I can't oh, imagine life without oh, him. <laughs> don't jump to any conclusions. What have they told you? They haven't told me anything. Nothing. 
Okay, let's, let's not think the worst. In times like these, you know the Lord wants us to lean on him. Let's just wait to hear from the doctors and trust the Lord for peace and understanding. Where are the children now? Oh, they're over it. They're over it. Grandma! Hi, Nico. Hi. Everything's going to be okay. Hey, Dad. How many fish is in this lake? <laughs> Probably all of them, son. <laughs> What'd you do that for? Because this it's what I like to call quality time with my kids. And quality time does not consist of musical isolation. We don't need no quality time. I see y'all every day. That's exactly what I'm talking about. We see each other every day, and we don't spend any time together. Then why ain't Tracy here? Danielle, you know Tracy's got cheerleading practice. I like spending time with you, Dad. I like spending time with you, too, son. The both of you. Well, if you ask me, this is just a big waste of time. There's so many other things we could be doing right now. Well, I don't recall asking you. But listen, one day you look back on this, you will understand. Dad, you did help! I did it, DJ! I caught a fish! Nice going, Chris. Don't stand in the boat, Danielle. Man, Chris, that's too little. I'm gonna have to throw that one back, man. Dad, no! No, Dad! It's my fish! Man, it ain't even big enough to make a fish sandwich. Well, I have a fish nugget. Okay, okay, just sit down in the boat before it tips over and the fish catch us. Hold up, let me get a picture. Ms. Goldman, I'm Dr. Klein. Can I speak with you in private for just a moment, please? I'll be right back. Ms. Goldman, your husband had a myocardial infarction. In layman's terms, that's a massive heart attack. The damage was severe. I'm very sorry, but he didn't make it. Our staff did everything it could, and we'll be glad to help you in any way we can now. Take all the time you need. Nurse O'Donnell will be here to help you. There will be some administrative paperwork that you'll need to take care of. Very sorry. Deepest condolences, but he didn't make it, did you? We'll be here to help you with anything you need. Elizabeth has brought a patient's chart to my attention. Do you remember a Mr. Douglas Coleman? He's the patient that died in your ER a few days ago? Yes. Did you recall that he was admitted to the ER last week for indigestion? No. I reviewed this chart the day the patient returned to the ER. And you signed for his release on June 5th. I signed his release? According to this, the patient needed a full cardiac workup. I never saw this patient. Nurse Gray was on triage. Why didn't you tell me about this? I did tell you, and you told me we needed the room. You signed for his release, so I sent him home. And what's the big deal anyway? He didn't even have insurance. You never said he had a history of cardiac failure. You killed this man. Everybody, just take it easy, okay? We're not here to place blame. 
We are here to cover our backs, though. We have a potential lawsuit on our hands. Yeah, because of her indigestion, experiencing numbness in both arms. Did you even bother to check his blood pressure? I did my job, if that's what you're insinuating. Obviously not. A man died in my ER because you failed to follow procedure when he came to us for help. Yes, and you signed for his release. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. We just need to get the facts straight right now, okay? So let's start from the beginning. It's no longer just a potential. We now have an official lawsuit on our hands. This is a preliminary investigation of patient number 39971, uh, Mr. Douglas Coleman. Can you please state your name for the record? Dr. William Klein. And what is your responsibility here at the hospital? I'm a registered cardiac triage nurse, specific to the ER. And are you familiar with the patient? I treated the patient in ER on June 12th. He was pronounced dead at 12.07 p.m. And you had no previous contact with the patient before that? No. So you did release the patient? We were bombarded with ailing patients, and we needed the room. Please, answer the question. Yes. I released the patient without seeing the chart. Well, the chart says that Mr. Coleman had classic symptoms of a heart failure, yet that was ignored. How did that happen? He came in for mild indigestion. His blood pressure was a little high, so I gave him a cocktail. His symptoms were not life-threatening. I told him to schedule a follow-up appointment with his regular physician, Dr. Klein scheduled for his release, and yes, I sent him home. Thank you. That will be all. Sure you don't want to ride, sweetheart? No, walking helps clear my head. Okay, well we'll walk together. Okay. I don't want to walk. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Hey, give me my kiss. Mm. You have a good day, baby. What's that? Just got it. What you ladies want to do today? Don't get out. Ah. I 
was waiting for you. Did you order yet? Well-deserved vacation. Great job, well done.